Pythagoras theorem probably the most popular theorem in mathematics at high school level all of us have studied even you have studied it says in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse equals sum of squares on other two sides if i have a right angle triangle with sides a and b and the hypotenuse is c hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree then square of a plus square of b gives me the square of c a square plus b square equals c square this is pythagoras theorem but the question is how can we prove this theorem a square plus b square equals c square there are several proofs available but now i'm going to show you a proof which is based on similarity of triangles just because it might be useful for many students for their examination so let's prove this theorem together let us consider a right angle triangle with sides a b and c c is the hypotenuse of right angle triangle because it is opposite to 90 degrees if this angle is x then the other angle is 90 minus x what i'll do now is i'm going to drop a perpendicular line from right vertex to the hypotenuse something like this and let me name this line as p p for perpendicular line so it is going to divide the right angle triangle into two more right angle triangles so we have two smaller right angle triangles and let's separate these two small right angle triangles so now I have divided bigger right angle triangle into two smaller right angle triangles. So let me mark the angles. This is 90 degrees. We know that this is X. This is 90 minus X. Let me mark the sides now. This is A. This is B. This is P. This is also P. Let's name these two parts as m and n and you can very clearly see that m and n together make c so m plus n equals c so in this small triangle if this angle is x then according to angle sum property this angle must be 90 minus x so let me mark this as 90 minus x and in this small triangle right angle triangle if this angle is 90 minus x, this angle has to be x. So we have named all the angles and sides of these two smaller right angle triangles. You can very clearly see that all these three triangles have same angles. 90 degrees, x degrees, 90 minus x degrees. 90 degrees, 90 minus x degrees, x degrees. 90 degrees x degrees and 90 minus x degrees which shows that all these three triangles are similar to each other so if i can call this triangle as t and if i call this triangle as t1 and if i call this triangle as t2 then t is similar to t1 t is similar to t2 and t1 is similar to t2 so the rule is in a right angle triangle if we drop a perpendicular from the right vertex to the hypotenuse it divides the right triangle triangle into two more right angle triangles which are similar to each other and similar to the original triangle let us consider the first result that is t is similar to t1 if two triangles are similar we know that their sides are proportional so only thing is we have to identify corresponding sides and we have to write their ratios. So in the bigger triangle, the side which is opposite to x degrees is A. In the first small triangle, the side which is opposite to x degrees is M. This is equal to, in the first triangle, side which is opposite to 90 degrees is C. In triangle T1, 
the side opposite to 90 degrees would be A. If I cross multiply, I'm going to get A square equals M into C. Let me call this as result number 1. Now let's consider the second result that is T is similar to T2. So let's identify the corresponding sides and write their ratios. The side which is opposite to 90 minus x degrees in the bigger triangle would be B and in triangle T2 the side which is opposite to 90 minus x is N. This is equal to the side which is opposite to 90 degrees in this triangle is C and the side which is opposite to 90 degrees in this triangle is B. Now look at this. If I cross multiply, I'm going to get B square equals NC. Let me call this as result number 2. We are almost done. We just have to add these two equations now. So if I add equation number 1 to equation number 2, I get a square plus b square, a square plus b square, this is equal to mc plus nc. And if I take c common, I get c times m plus n. But what is m plus n? Look at this, m plus n equals c. So let me replace m plus n by c. So I'm going to get c into c. But what is c into c? c into c is c square. So here we have result a square plus b square equals c square. So let me write the final result a square plus b square equals c square which is Pythagoras theorem. This was a simple way to prove Pythagoras theorem. Was that easy? If you have liked the proof, like the video also. Please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.